So again, I'm, this is my distance, this is my distance. And this one is gonna be, we're gonna make this a spiral up here. And you should just barely be able to see. You're really more depressing the coat and creating your line with the marker more than you're marking the coat. But you can totally mark the whole coat as long as it, you know, it's like a washable marker. Then I come to the other side of the tail and I just do like a little bit of a quasi one here. We can connect that up here if we want. So we're gonna kinda just let this whole coat take us on a journey. I hope I don't sound like Bob Ross. <laughs> Happy little spiral. <laughs> so you can kinda see the direction I'm going with this trim. And I come in with the scissors now and I'm gonna just rough cut. So then when the dog moves and does all his stuff, I kind of still have a line there, and I don't have to worry too much about his next movements. So I come in, and, and I'm coming in straight, and then I'm beveling over. Come in straight, and you're just beveling over, and you're doing that on every single spiral. You're coming in, and if you're a little scared, you don't have to come all the way down with the scissor. You can just start to pick right at the ends and then work your way down, you know, deeper. I like a shorter shear with this kind of work. Um, when you use a longer shear with this work, you have a little less control. Your hand's out here and your tips are down here, so I wouldn't use it in an eight inch shear. Um, something like a, like a six, I wouldn't go past a seven 